Hey guys, it's TNN and today we are going to unbox and review the Evershop E07 fitness smartwatch or fitness band. And today we're going to unbox and review it. So let's go ahead and let's look at this box. So you've got E07 written on the top here. We've got the picture of the box, the actual watch. Now this is the black color. And it is also available in white. So if you're, if you're interested in purchasing this, link to buy will be down in the description. So you've got super large screen written on here. So it's definitely boasting about its large screen. Keep walking wide step smart wristband. We've got a black sticker over here indicating that this is the black watch. Keep walking with white steps. Again, written on the side over here. On the back, nothing else. On the bottom of here, we've got some more specifications and information. So we've got pedometer, distance, calories, sleep monitoring, call reminding contacts, 12 to 24 hour system, date, week display, SMS, QQ, WeChat, Skype, Facebook, Line, Twitter, WhatsApp, remind, display content. So it will display to you all your messages. We've got music remote, camera remote, and video remote. We've got anti-loss warning and move alert. We got wake up screen by turning wrist. Multi exercise model, app GPS track record, bracelet slicing model. OS requirement is Android 4.3 or iOS 7.0 and above. And the Bluetooth version this device has is version 4.0 and the device is also IP67 waterproof. Which is absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and let's open this device up. Right, oh, and we got some things over here. So we have a QR scanner over here for the application WeChat. So if you go ahead and if you have a Wee, if you have a QR scanner on your smartphone, you can go and scan it so you can download it from the Play Store. I will link the QR scanner app down below in the description. We then have a quick start guide here over here. So it's written in Chinese and English. Quick start guide of how to start the device. Again, we have another QR scanner here to download the application for the watch. So you can connect it to your smartphone and you can check it out. So it's very simple to do. First step will be to scan the QR code to download the app, which is simple. I'll also link the app straight from the Play Store down below in the description. Now this app is available on the App Store, on the iOS App Store and the Android Google Play Store. So you can use this smartwatch on iPhones and Android smartphones. And then all you've got to do is once you've got the app is register and log in, which I will do. And I've actually already done it on my smartphone, so register and log in. It's very, very easy to log in and register. Then you've got to set the smartphone bracelet, so basically pair it with Bluetooth. And then you can set it out, so the actual application also has a user profile, so you can set up your own, you know, your own user, so your height, your name, your email, your age, your date of birth, whatnot. So over here, we have the actual main watch itself, but that's one side. And we have the charging dock over here. So this is how you charge a device. As you can see, it is magnetic charger. So it simply just snaps on and you can charge the device through this. If we open this up, on the bottom here we have the wristband attachment. So you can put this inside of here and use the wristband. And then we also have this other attachment here with a slot on top here. So you can tie a string on here and I don't know, maybe attach it to somewhere and use it like a sort of like a pocket watch so it's great that it comes with all of this I'm going to go ahead and pack all this up and we'll be right back right so this is pretty much all we're going to need the main things so the charger how do we use the charger well it is magnetic charging and it simply clips on as well so you can see there's a groove over here so you can slot the actual charger on properly and there's also a marking over here as well so it's completely centered and of course the magnetic so over here and over here so that's where you got to connect this device so let's go ahead and let's do that so align it with the groove and simple as that really and there you go it has recognized it's connected it's actually powered on as well so I'm not too sure if you guys can see this but it has powered on it says 76 FA and uh, we also have a screen protector on here let's go ahead and peel that off so we can see this lovely round display on here uh, we can go ahead and see the time over here. So I have to say the display isn't very bright because I also got a really, really bright lighting over here. And I will turn that off so we get a closer look to the actual device. But once you finish charging as well, take this off and you can attach it to this band as well. So again, same way, the band will have grooves. 
and it's quite tight fit I have to say a little bit stretchy but once you're in that is it you're locked into the band so I'm going to go ahead and use this device and we'll be right back with a review video So let's go ahead and let's review this device now. So here we have the actual watch itself. As you can see, we've got the curved display on top of here. We have the chrome finish around, but it is actually plastic. It is not metal all around. It is just plastic. We have a touch button over here where the fingerprint logo is. On the back here, we have the magnetic charger. Some information about the device written on the back as well. We do have the band, of course, is over here as well. It is a very nice rubberized silicon band, very smooth and soft. The actual device is also very lightweight as well. It fits very, very nice actually. It's quite comfortable to wear and it's easy to strap on as well. But display is very nice, I have to say. It's not the brightest display, but it is visible, especially out in bright sunlight. Now, the display is actually on, but my camera is not picking it up. I can actually see the display, but the camera is not picking it up. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my background lighting because the background studio lights are very, very bright. And I think that is the reason why the camera is not picking up the display. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and we'll have a closer look at this display. So I've gone ahead, I've turned the light off and now you can see the display much, much easier. As you can see, we can see the time over here, 1.15 p.m. We've got the date, the day is Thursday, and the battery bar as well on top of here. So if I hold, press and hold on this, we got the back option. We've got a sleeping mode option over here. So I can try and focus it here. Sleeping mode option. we got music option, so you can play music on your Bluetooth device. So once you've connected this to your smartphone through Bluetooth, you can actually play music. Then you can do remote capture, so you can take pictures from remote. So by pressing this button over here, it will take a picture on your smartphone. We've got find, so you, if you've lost either this device over here or your smartphone, you can go in and press find. we got vibrate on and off, so if you want to turn on the vibration on here, there is no sound, there's no speakers, it's just vibration. We've got power off, of course. And then we've got the reset button. Now if you want to select on one of these options, let's try and select on vibrate. Just go ahead and touch and hold this touch button over here, so touch and hold, and it selects. Then you can do on, off, and then when you want to select one, so let's select on, go ahead and press and hold to turn on. And as simple as that to use. So you press and hold to select something, and you just press to flip through the menus. And let's turn on sleep mode, press and hold, on, and then you keep on scrolling through, and press and hold to go back. So it's not touch at all. This is just a, a digital display, but this button over here is the main touch button. So if we just press on here, we can see the pedometer. So right now I've walked 25 steps. Press it again and we got location of how, how the distance you've walked. And I assume this is in kilometers. Press it again and we got a fire picture over here, which basically means the amount of calories you've burnt. So right now it's on zero. Press the button again and we've got cycling. So against the amount of distance you've moved in cycling. Press it again and then we've got the sleeping, so how much time you have slept. So this is the sleep mode. Press it again and we're back to the home menu over here. So that's pretty much the basics of this smartwatch. That's pretty much everything it can do. But you can do more with it once you connect it to your smartphone. So this will work with any Android or iPhone. So all you've got to do is download the application to basically connect it and synchronize it with your smartphone. So I'll link the application down below in the description, but you can also download a QR scanner and of course the instruction manual that came with this device, just scan that QR code and download the application yourself. But if you have problems with your camera or maybe your phone doesn't have a camera, I will link down below an application where you can download it straight away. But let me go ahead and let's grab my smartphone and let's check out this application. So let me just go ahead and unlock it. So I've got my smartphone over here. And the application is called Smart Wristband. And it's this logo over here, a green, blue and green background with a guy running. Go ahead and open that up. And we have health and sports written over here. And as you can see, 
we got all my information over here as well. So we got home, and we told you the amount of steps we've had. And if we press this button over here, we can sync it as well. So we've got the calories I've burnt, but I reset it on the smartwatch, so it's gonna reset on here now. So it just reset it. So I've done 25 steps, zero calories, 0 0.01 kilometers I've moved. And we've got the whole chart over here from morning to evening of today. And we can go on trend over here and we can see my daily or monthly or yearly activities I've done with the bicycle, how many calories I've lost, with swimming, how many calories I've lost. So it's really, really great at fitness. And we also got sleep over here, sleep efficiency, whether I sleep at deep light or extremely light sleeping, my sleep time, which is really, really good. So analyze everything over here. We also got options for outdoors, so running and bicycle. And then we got some other exercises here, jump roping, jumping rope, jumping jack, sit-ups, treadmill. And then we've got settings over here. So on the settings we have an anti-lost feature, we can enable control music or disable it. We can launch the camera from here or launch the video. So I can basically move the camera around here. So let's launch camera for example. So this is the camera on my phone. I can actually take pictures through the device over here. So if I go and press and hold, go on to the camera mode we had here, press and hold to select. And if I just press the button here, it will take a picture. And there you go, it's taking a picture from the phone to save it on the phone. So I'm basically using my watch to take the picture. So that's what the camera, remote camera feature does. And same with the remote music. It basically just turns on the music from on my phone from the watch. So it's a pretty cool feature, but not very useful. So we also have incoming call notification, SMS notification, mobile QQ notification, WeChat notifications, Facebook notification, Twitter notification, Line, Skype and WhatsApp notifications. We can also set a clock as well, so set alarm clocks. We can enable sedentary notifiers. If we go back, and then we've got different connections over here, so you can connect to more than one of the wristwatches, but right now we're connected to one through Bluetooth. We also got the user manual here, we got sleep preference, manage device, find device and clear data as well. Now on the top over here we can set a goal that we want to reach, so how many steps we want to reach, how many distance, calories we want to burn and how much sleep we want. So you can set this and the watch will keep you updated and tell you how your goals are going which is great as well. We also got a user profile here, I'm not going to click on that because I've set it up to my own personal details. But with the user profile you can, you can write your height, your length, your weight your date of birth, your year, whatever. You can do all that information and then this will keep track as well. So you see how much you've grown, how much how much weight you've lost and whatnot. So it will keep track of you and if you're healthy or not, which is really, really good. So this is actually an amazing, amazing fitness tracker. I mean, it literally does everything that you really want a fitness tracker to do. And it helps you reach your goals as well as telling you how you're doing and how far you've got to go. So it's also a watch as well. So this is a really, really nice fitness tracker or fitness band, fitness watch, whatever you like to call it. It is actually really nice. It looks amazing. It's really lightweight. It's got a good grip. It's waterproof. And I mean, what more can you ask for? For the price, it's absolutely amazing. So I think overall score I give this device has to be 10 out of 10. It's a great, great product. So the link to buy this will be down below in the description. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching this video.